Hi, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to focus on the running backs. I, I praised the, the older running backs last week. And um, they had not many carries, I think like 11, for not very many yards. And today we're going to take a look at, you know, all their carries. Um, not looking at every carry because Lamar carries are not in this. But we're going to look at the carries of um, Murray was inactive at Freeman, Bale, and Tyson Williams. And let's just see what went wrong. Roll the intro. So welcome back to the channel. And uh, if this is your first time here, please click the uh, like button if you like what you see. Uh, if you really like what you see and you want to subscribe, please do so. And when you subscribe, hit the bell so you can be notified when these videos drop randomly. But again, today we're going to look at these running back uh, carries from the Bengals game, the loss to the Bengals, the, um, the blowout to the Bengals, the embarrassment to the Bengals, the annihilation from the Bengals, the take to the woodshed but the Bengals, but... We still five and two. But look at these running back uh, situations and see if we can figure out what went wrong. All right. So first play. And what I did is, you know, I got I got it time stamped. But don't worry about that. I don't worry about it. Let's get into it. First play. Let's let it run. All right. And to this to this naked eye, because I looked at this play earlier. To the naked eye, it looks like Le'Veon just slow as crap, and he can't get to the edge. And that's initially what I thought also. That's initially what I thought too. And let's play it again. Looks like Le'Veon slow as crap and, and just don't have the juice to get to the edge. Let's look at the back view and kind of see what went wrong. All right, to bring that guy in motion. And when they bring him in motion, I think this is – I don't know who this is. I'm not going to lie. It might be Andrews. When they bring whoever that is in motion, you saw the linebacker shift. Look at the linebacker position first. Let me get it. So you had 57 over the tackle, 55 in the A gap, and you had 59 or King at the Davis, you know, in the C gap, so to speak, outside the tackle. Bring this guy in motion. They bump everybody over. So now he goes to A gap. He goes to B gap. And get the Davis just bumps over to what essentially would be the D gap, so to speak. Now, the, the actual play, which I think is Power Reed. I, I think it's Power Reed with an arc guy. And so, you got Ricard out here blocking. Oh, you got cracked. I'm sorry. So, you got whoever that was, guy came in motion is going to crack down on him. Ricard, I think, should feel right there. But he doesn't. He decides to feel wide. He decides to feel wide, which leaves this guy free. Now, you see the leverage of this guy right now. He already leaning toward running that gap. I think there's one person in the NFL that could have outran this guy to the edge. And he's number 10 for Kansas City. So, initially, we're thinking, you know, Le'Veon just don't have the juice to get there. And which he probably is not as fast as he was. But this guy already got a head start. He already got a head start. Look at that angle. Look at the angle. He already got a head start. Now, just just say for instance, Ricard blocks him. Now Le'Veon is one on one with a safety, or 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 Nickelback, whoever third, whatever Bates is a safety, and that end is further down the field. But for the naked eye, it looks like Le'Veon don't have juice; he can't get to the edge. This cat already got already. He's beating him to the point already. He at the he at the hash now. Le'Veon not. He on the other side of the hash. Le'Veon just getting to it. What can he do? What can he do? And I think he should have been blocked by record. I think he should have been blocked by record. Because the puller was going to pull for 57. Especially once they shifted. Once they shifted, the dynamics changed. And, I mean, he, he, you can't outrun that. You got to be super duper fast to outrun that. You got maybe four guys in the league that probably outran him. Maybe. Next play. All right, the next play, it comes in our, the next actual rushing play by a running back comes in our second drive, first play of the drive. Let's see what we got. That motion Tyson in the backfield. 
my little counter action. Which not bad. Not bad. Got a little counter action, not bad. And if he pulled it, he had a I think if he pulls it, record um uh, arc releases and blocks fifty nine. But let's just see what goes on the play side. Alright, so th if this is counter, and these two guys pulling should be Zeitler and Makari. This is what we should get. Zyla should pull, kick out, 91. Makara should pull around, 457. And 24 could actually maybe, you know, get in there on the play. But Bateman should come and block him. Uh, as far as the down blocks, down block there. They have to double this guy up to 55. That's what should happen. 59 is not blocked. This, guy, this backside guy is not blocked. If he comes all the way over the top and gets it, so be it. But if Lamar, if if he if he chases and Lamar pulls it, Ricard is now up on fifty nine. That's what I think the play design is. All right, you see McCarr eyeing fifty nine in case Lamar pulls it. So I think I got it right on that part. Got a down block here by Bozeman. He's gonna take that. Should have a down block by um, Powers too. Guy jumps in Powers in Powers gap. He should take him down. Powers taking a knee. Now 65 swims over him, and that's who gets the tackle. Powers misses the down block. So let's see if we get a pull. Villanueva looks at 91, even though he shouldn't. He looks at him. He should, Villanueva should be climbing to that. He should get kicked out by um, Zeitler, and he should be getting wrapped and kicked by McCarr. So Villanueva was making his way. We got the kick out by Zeitler. And you got Makari on his guy. The play is lost on Bozeman's down block. Bozeman misses the down block, alpha leverage or whatever. However, he got down on his knee. Especially because once, it, even though he head up on him, even though he head up on him, we look at this matchup, we're looking at this box right here. Even though he head up on Makari, I mean not Makari, on uh, Powers, when he steps inside, you got to drive him. You just got to drive him that way. He just can't cross your face. Whatever he, whatever you do, he cannot cross your face. He can't go, can't swim you and come backwards. He can't go underneath and chase it. He just can't. You got to keep your leverage and keep him on this side of you. And when he missed or however he missed or he got dragged down, that just make the tackle right there, 65. So what was a three-yard game could have potentially been a big play if he gets that block. All right, next play here. Got, um... Tight set up here. Hollywood down at the bottom. Uh, I think this is Le'Veon in the game at running back. Got Ricard at the little H-back slash fullback spot. And you get a draw. A draw that goes for no gain or maybe a loss. Let me see. That draw went for minus one. Minus one. Let's see what went wrong. All right. What should happen is, if we run the draw, uh, uh, waiver should invite him outside and club him by. And in my opinion, McCarr should do the same thing. Invite this guy up the field and make sure he goes and run him by. Uh, with the way they're, the technique they're in and with, with um, the card being here, I think Zyla should block him out. They should double team there to that guy. And Zyla should lead up on 55. Perfect, you know, hat on the hat, everything's, you know, hunky dory, that's what should happen. That does not happen. Now you got you got your double team right here. You got your double team with Bozeman and um Powers. You got your solo block right here. You got McCarr inviting that guy outside. Hell, you got Andrews getting up on a linebacker, so you should have a free hat. Should have a free hat, especially if if Andrews goes there and uh Ricard comes there, you should have a free hat. Everybody's still winning. Winning there. Alejandro's winning there. Got the double team right there. Got a lead blocker. Got Should have it. Both of these guys decide to go somewhere else. Powers and Bozeman. Pow focus, focus right here. Focus right here. This is where it gets blown up at. Both of them decide to leave that guy and go somewhere else. And that's what makes the tackle. Now, even though Zyla, you know, the guy from Zyla gets in late, but if they don't leave that guy, he can run through that arm tackle because Zyla's still engaged. Le'Veon or Tyson or Freeman can run through that arm tackle.
But the fact that he had, you know, that other guy got a full body on him. But why both of them decide to go somewhere else? Don't know. All right, next play. Let's see what we got. All right. You got Freeman trying to, I think it's a stretch. On the outside zone, maybe. Let's see. Yeah. Is it Buck Sweep Bash? It looks like Buck Sweep with a bash on it. Bug Sweet. QB Bug Sweet with bash on it. That's interesting. I haven't seen that one before. And so the read's going to be the, the unblocked guy, and we'll see it better from the backside. Let it run. All right, so I think I think this guy's the read. I mean, he probably going to arc. Um... Tyree's in the game now. Tyree gonna pull. He should block down. Power should block down. And Bozeman gonna pull. And um, I think Villanueva should go down there too. And so one of the kickers, so uh, Bozeman should kick him out. And then Tyree should fill it, whatever the next gap is, and turn up. So I think Macari's going to arc, and that's got it right. Macari's arcing, so they're reading this guy. And if he steps down, uh, Lamar's going to give it and let him get outside. If he comes up the field or out, Lamar will shuffle and then run the buck sweep back this way behind um, Bozeman and Tyree. He kind of stays, and he gives it. Now, at this point, I'd like to see him hit that. And then maybe get a one-on-one -on -one move with, with him. But I don't know why he continues to try to push it outside. I guess because he's thinking he's going to feel it. And which, you just want to run through that guy. I, that's, I think. I, I've never been a running back. I was the receiver. But I think you would just want to run through that guy. Especially with the way he blocking him out. The leverage on that block. With the leverage on this block, you would want to cut off the butt and turn it up. I, I think. But he doesn't. He tries to outrun him to the sideline and. Now they got him boxed in because this whoever was blocking this guy let him go. Now he boxed in with nowhere to go. He had a, he had a a one on one. Now it's a two on one and it can't win that. But he's not gonna win that. So I don't even think he should have pushed that all the way to the edge. All right, next play here. Got a little yo yo motion by Ricard. I think you got straight inside zone. Straight inside zone with Ricard cutting off the backside. He hits it. Hits it. Don't get but what do you get? One or two? Let's see. What did, what what um Freeman get? Got two. Not bad. It looked like a decent hole too for for a goal line type situation. Let's see what the what the back view look like. It looks like a decent hole. So you get a little yo-yo motion. So they're running inside zone right. He's going to cut off the backside end, so it should not be a read. So it should be a double there. Dump him solo. Should be a double there. Uh, block that guy. That's what should happen. Uh, these, one of these two guys should come off on 55. Uh, and Ricard's going to block this dude. Mark Andrews should get him. And he potentially could fall in and make the tackle 57. Is that what we got? We got the double right there. Solo block, solo block, solo block. Zyla wins his block. Zyla wins, Bozeman wins. Look at that hole. You just got to hit it. Zyla won and Bozeman won. Big enough for a hole. The guy comes off, look like Villain away, but look like he come off this double team. Nobody gets here. Nobody gets to 55 and he falls in. The double team don't get to 55 and he falls in. Because... Powers on the freaking ground again. Why? Keep your dog on feet. Because Alejandro has taken over the block. He should be climbing to 55. Stay off your knees, man.
Now we're to the last run by a running back in this game from the Baltimore Ravens. And it is 14 minutes and 21 seconds left in the game. This is the last run by a running back. 